Hello guys, uh, this is the final part of tutorial videos dedicated to inventory system and this part we will fix one issue and uh, also we will apply clauses to our character so current issue is uh, that if I equip item with right click and equip we have to open actions well, to fix it, let's open an object for an item. Let's open BC container item and open function um, add action. Here we gonna check if this action already exists in this array. So let's get actions. And we don't even need to check it. We can just remove an action if it exists. And after that we're gonna insert and it will fix this issue for us. So we can equip, de-equip and we have only one open function. Also I have added pens with such layout to, to an inventory to show that scroll works. As you can see we have a scroll bar. It's not very visible but it works. So how to apply clauses to our character? Well, that depends on your way to apply clauses. In my case, it is a metahuman character and they have legs, torso, belt, bracers, belt, back, face, feet, uh, skeletal mesh parts. So what do I need to do? I need to apply some skeletal mesh to one of these skeletal meshes, skeletal mesh components. So to do that, we first no need to know which skeletal mesh asset we have to apply. So let's open our container item and add a variable called skeletal mesh of type skeletal mesh. Let's make it instance editable, exposed on spawn private, replicated and uh, that's all. And let's add a function. Let's just duplicate one of the functions like get thumbnail and call it get skeletal mesh asset. Let's delete this and instead of returning a material interface, we're gonna return a skeletal mesh. Let's get skeletal mesh and plug it here. Compile and save. So now Let's open, for example, my old leather pants and open, no, no, let's open our blueprint functions library and we have skeletal mesh parameter. Let's plug it into construct item to and make a new input. Compile save. Now let's navigate our closes and we have to provide the skeletal mesh. So for my pants, it's going to be SKM. I don't remember how I called them. Yeah, I've just called them pants, so that's fine for me for now. And the same for short. I'm gonna select a short. Well, now let's open our inventory component and uh, open a function called equip item at slot. So here, after we have set after switch, after we have set some value, we gonna get our character. Also, this thing should be called on the server. I think that it will. It is called on the server, and we're gonna call get for short. We're gonna take torso. If you are working with uh, metahuman, get torso or whenever you want. and set skeletal mesh asset get skeletal mesh asset and just duplicate it for short the same for short oh no for pants we have to use not a torso, for pants we have to use uh, 
legs for example get legs it even doesn't matter which one you use uh, all the skeletal meshes are located at zero 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 and have the same skeleton as whole character but they just have different names so legs torso and the same for this one if you need for secret pocket i don't need anything don't need to display it so why don't edit let's try it now let's equip pants short right click equip right click equip so now, as you can see, I am equipped. I can collect items. They are stored in my inventory. And let me throw away. Okay. So, here is one more issue that we have to fix. Throw away function for equipped item is not working correctly. Let's open our handle container item actions and look what throw away does. It calls remove item from cell. Well, remove item doesn't work for equipped item. So we need to check if this item is equipped. So how are we gonna do that? We are gonna get slots. And check if slot contains this item that we are trying to throw away. Add a branch. And check it. If it doesn't contain, then we can remove this item. That will mean that this item is in our inventory. In another case, we're gonna call remove equipped item and plugin item. Also, what do we need to do now? On equip item uh, at slot, we are setting some skeletal mesh asset to skeletal mesh component, but on the equip we are doing nothing. So let's open the equip item at slot and uh, we need a switch here. So let's add the switch somewhere here. Oh, sequence. Let's add the sequence first and on Zen 1 let's add the switch on uh, slot type. So let's get slot type and switch. And here what we're gonna do, if we're the equipping shirt, then we're gonna get character, get uh, torso, get torso and set skeletal mesh asset to nothing. In case if we are doing this with pants, then we're gonna do the same, but with the legs and set nothing. And the same for any other type you want. Well, now let's try it. So let's equip this, equip this. So, and also let's try to throw away equipped item. It disappeared. It disappeared, but we forgot to on the equip item, oh, not on the equip item, but on uh, on throw away. We're calling remove and then drop from inventory, and we forgot to call this function. So let's call drop for from inventory, either like this. Now it should work. Equip. We, let's put carrot here and the apple here. Let's throw them away. Here they are. Let's take them, equip them. Items are at their place. And uh, let's uh, de equip a shirt. It is de equipped. Equip. Let's throw it away. Okay, now th when we're throwing item, equipped item away, then it is not de equipped. Well, let's fix it also. And. Uh, we should do it on remove equipped item. So here we are setting on remove equipped item. We should do the same. So we have to get character, get uh, torso, and uh, set skeletal mesh asset. 
duplicate it. The same for pants, but with but for legs. And that will work now. So now let's equip it and throw them away. So they are taken out from a character. And uh, so on. So I think that we have done everything that is uh, needed. I think that everything that we have to implement is working. Mm, okay, not everything. We have a uh, possibility to drag our secret pocket, but we should disable such possibility. How can we do that? How can we do that? We can do it in a simple way. Let's open our BC container item and add a flag to our variables and call it is draggable. By default, it's gonna be true. Let's make it instant settable. This was in spawn private, uh, replicated, and well, there is no need to make it replicated, but okay. And let's get create a function get is draggable, and we're gonna return this value. So let's get is draggable and return it. Well. What we're gonna do, we're gonna open our inventory component and navigate to replace where we are creating our secret pocket. It's initialize function. Here it is. In initialize function, we're gonna oh no, we're gonna change our construct item in our blueprint functions library. Let's refresh it and make it draggable an input. And by default, let's make it true. So select a construct item function and in inputs expand is draggable and set default value to true. Compile and save. Now let's navigate back to our component and here for secret pocket uncheck is draggable. Now let's open our user widget for an item, we be container item. And here we have to open a function called on mouse button down. And here we are detect and drag if pressed, left mouse button. And we have a check if an item is placeholder and if it is a placeholder then we are not detecting drag. Now we have to also check that our item is draggable. So we need to get item and get is draggable. And if it is both draggable and not a placeholder, then we can drag. So let's add and connect this and this and this one goes to branch. And let's play. Now we cannot drag secret pocket, but we can drag, we cannot drag this. Uh, Either well, why? That's a good question to ask. So, if item is draggable and not a placeholder, then we're detecting drag. And our slots are draggable, draggable, and our old leather shirt is draggable. Hmm. Item is draggable and not placeholder. Oh, let's uh, debug it. Is draggable returns false for this item. Very interesting. So my item for pants is draggable and is draggable is uh, true. Well, I don't know why, but for example, now I can drag pants 
but cannot drag short. But if I will open my old laser short and disable it, uh, uncheck is draggable, check back, compile, save, then short becomes draggable. Well, uh, I don't know why, but this is how Unreal works. So now everything is working fine. And uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you reached this part, then if you reach the end of this tutorial and you're a very trust resistance person, and uh, hope it will help someone.